Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Surrectum version 0.6 previews for all the Greek rosters. And today we are here with the Aetolian League, a league that plenty of you have said is your favorite Greek faction and would love to see out here. And of course, we are doing these guys today. So get excited, get hyped. And we'll show you some of these stunning units for version 0.6 once again. First of all, though, guys, I wanted to thank you for the continued support on the channel. We've just hit over 2,260 subs. So if you haven't subbed already, we're on the road to 2,300. Click that subscribe button. That would be fantastic. Right. First of all, though, let's talk about the history of this nation and the history of the roster and why you might see... There are no phalangites in this roster whatsoever. You're just infantry, uh, standard infantry focused rather than phalangites. Now, so this note is once again from Mausolos. So thank you to him and the mod team for sending us this lovely historical note on why the unit roster is as it is and it goes as follows the aetolians were famed for light infantry and cavalry and the historian polybius uh, served as a cavalry commander of the achaean league one of aetolia's greatest rivals he said that no other greek army was quite as good at ambushes and fighting in rough terrain However, they had pretty inferior hoplites and they never introduced phalangites at all, which is kind of crazy really when it was the prevailing method of fighting for much of the region for a long period of time. However, they really didn't need to introduce those phalangites as they were pretty successful militarily. Uh, they were the forefront of the Greek defense against the Galatians in 280 and 279 BC. And they invaded both Epirus and Macedon multiple times. And they expanded in central Greece on the Peloponnese and even into the Aegean. They won many great victories against all the leagues around them, including the Boeotians, the Achaeans and the Spartans. And Polybius betrays them as treacherous and unreliable, uh, mainly due to the fact that they would switch sides based on their needs uh, at a whim. And although uh, Polybius betrays them as treacherous and unreliable because he's kind of biased, they did indeed dig their own grave because they basically just continuously switch sides between the Antigonids, Seleucids, Ptolemies and Rome until they were ultimately destroy so in the end polybius was right and he was right in another respect too they have the best skirmisher troops in all of the greek factions and therefore they kind of offer a pretty unique play style compared to the uh, the phalangite units of other uh, of other rosters that we've seen so far so without further ado guys let's get into it we have our unreformed units over here and we have our three reform units over there as well first things first let's have a look at the greek archers these boys all in whites and browns on these uh, which is quite interesting and i think the whites and sort of browns would be a very common color at the time so looking at these guys might actually be the closest to what they really would look like in real life looking really cool uh, as well as we've talked about the uh, the archers and slingers a lot in the previews we'll go through them relatively quickly as i say you probably want your archers because of that six missile attack their four morale and nine defense is terrible though and remember they will die to missiles pretty much instantaneously because they only have one arm one armor but yeah the missile attack of six and the ammo of a 25 with 130 range is decent is decent especially if you get these guys a bit of experience they'll start doing some damage later on in the game um the archers and missile troops are always good to have guys so always take some in your army um you don't want to be caught napping without any and have no response to the enemy's archers so let's look at the akantistai we've seen these guys many a time as well and you can see the yellows going through these guys really nice indeed the yellow and the blue i really do like together looks really cool 
Looks really, really cool. Um, but again, once again, 12 defense, only uh, one of which is armor. So they're going to die to missiles instantly. A bit better morale of six morale guys, but a missile attack of nine and seven javis to throw. Fine early game, but again, I, I don't really like javi troops. I've said that a lot, I know. <laughs> um, so I'm not a huge fan of using javi troops. But if you like javi troops... Solid early game Java unit, going to do a little bit of damage and be a bit of a meat shield for the rest of your army. Now let's move on to something slightly different, guys. We've got the Aetolian Slingers. Now pretty much everyone else has the Greek Slingers, the standard Greek Slingers. And these guys, these Aetolian Slingers, are actually better, a lot better than the Greek Slingers overall because if we remember correctly the greek slingers have a four missile attack and they have a defense of something like eight i can't remember exactly um but yeah these aetolian slingers are a better slinger unit than any other slinger unit i've seen so far five missile attack 32 ammo 140 missile range and a morale of five with a total defense of 12. Now, if we compare that to the archers, for example, you can see they're actually better than the archers in nearly everything apart from missile attack. So, if I am playing as the Aetolians, that one missile attack will get negated by one level of experience. And I would take these guys because they've got longer missile range, more ammo, and more defense. Now, before, I know I've said I would always take the Greek archers over the Greek slingers. And that is because the Greek slingers are worse in pretty much everything it's not just one thing whereas the aetolians are actually better in everything apart from the missile damage so yeah i would take these guys if i was playing the aetolians so bumbag guys you get my endorsement thumbs up very good enjoy enjoy you're the, f the first slingers that have that have had my endorsement to use you rather than the archers so you should be proud he kind of looks proud he looks angry anyone look proud no, they, they don't care, do they? They don't care. They know if they don't get sent to the battlefield, they don't die. So they're clever. But anyway, yeah, I would take the Aetolian Slingers. Oh, what would one of my videos be without a, a weird tangent? Anyway, um, on to the Aetolian Peltas. So again, different from the Greek Peltas. And again, really, really good stats. And I can't stress this enough, guys. Amazing stats for a Javelin unit. Amazing stats. 26 defense 26 defense that ain't too far from a hop well it's about 10 away eight away from the aetolian hoplites you can have a look at that but six armor really good and you can see that little helmet that they're wearing that helm uh, and uh, yeah six armor for these guys and three shields so they're not going to die to missiles quickly at all with 17 defense skill nothing to sniff at at all 26 defense for a java unit really good i believe the normal greek peltas is 22 but i could be wrong someone correct me down in the comments down below and 14 morale guys 14 morale the same as your standard hoplite unit really really solid with a melee attack of 11 and a missile attack of 11 as well with seven javis these guys definitely do offer that unique play style these guys might get me to recruit Java units, guys, because they are really, really decent hybrid unit, as I've said multiple times. Look at that. Melee attack of 11 is the same as the Hoplites. So, and they have the same morale. So, they're pretty much Hoplites without as much defense, as well as being able to throw seven Javis into the battle. That is fantastic, and that really shows what this roster is trying to do with the uh, better sort of skirmish units out there right then we do have one missile unit that is post reform so let's have a look at these boys here they are look at them don't they look fantastic don't they look fantastic they do they look glorious i have changed my uh, saying glorious for fantastic now so whichever one i repeat most i am sorry but look at these guys seven morale so nowhere near as good as the peltas and you know, higher than your archers, though your standard archers only of four. Uh, but a melee attack of nine. Not that you're going to want to get these guys into melee. Uh, and a missile attack of nine with 24 missiles. Uh, no, actually, 20. Yeah, 25 missiles with a missile range of 160. 
So quite a really long range missile unit. 30 meters more than your normal uh, your normal archers. So yeah, a really, really good archer unit. This is one of the best archer units we've seen so far. And yeah, as soon as you can get these guys, start replacing out your slingers. Even your uh, Aetolian slingers, I would replace them out with these Neocretan archers as soon as you get those reforms. Looking very nice indeed. They've got nine defense against missiles as well, guys. So they're not going to die really quickly to missiles. So overall, just a really solid late game archer unit. And as soon as you get some experience on these boys, they are going to be shredding. Really nice indeed. Now let's go on to the infantry. If I can spake. Uh, yeah, on to the infantry, guys. And here we have the Aetolian Hoplites. Looking glorious. I'm going to say glorious this time. Once again, looking absolutely stunning. A lot of blues and reds in these boys, as opposed to the yellows. But you can see some nice new shield designs that we've not seen before. Look at these. Looking very cool indeed. Very nice. Uh, but as a Hoplite unit goes... Slightly worse than standard. 14 morale, 11 melee attack, and a defense of 34. 7 armor and 7 shield, so 14 defense against missiles. But that 34 defense, I'm pretty sure most other Hoplites have 36 defense. So they're just slightly lacking, and that's all. But I do think they have better morale. I think most standard Hoplites have 12. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, slightly worse defense, but slightly better morale. So, they might last in the fight longer, but they'll take more damage. Um, so, as Hoplite units go, a bit of a hybrid, a bit of a mashup. Uh, but let's move on to the standard Aetolian Theroperoi here. 34 defense again, 14 morale, 12 melee attack this time. So, better melee attack than the Hoplites, as well as 14 missile attack and 2 Javis. 34 defense, of which 12 is defense against missiles. So if you're looking for a reason to uh, to pick one or the other of these guys, these guys are pretty much better in melee, and they have the Javis. So I'm going to pick these guys every single time, unless you're fighting against a lot of missile troops, where you're going to pick the Hoplites, because they have the extra two defense against missile, if that makes sense. So these guys, yeah, standard Theroperoi unit. Going to do decent damage, but I'm going to pick them over the Aetolian Hoplites uh, because of that extra melee attack of one and those two Javis to fire into the enemy. They look really good again, don't they? Look at these boys. Very nice. I love these helms. Very cool indeed. And we've got the same sort of designs on the shields as well. Cool. Right, let's move on to your second out of three Hoplite units that you get access to as the Aetolian League. And these guys, you can tell, were getting slightly more elite with the Hoplites because they start having the bronze breastplates on and the shiny Linothoraxes. Th Linothoraxes, there we are. Linothoraxes, should I say. But looking very cool indeed. They have the Promethean Eagle over here. Yes, nice. Nice. Oh, we've, uh, we've, gone, we've gone a bit too far. But you can see, have we got capes? We do have capes, and we do have a bit of plumage, a little bit of plumage. So these guys are starting to get up to be more elite units. And you can certainly tell. 38 defense, 15 morale, and 13 melee attack. 14 defense against missiles, 24 defense skill, and a charge of 13. So just a more armored, more um, heavy version of... Of your standard Theroperoi or Hoplites. So starting to become quite a decent mid-tier unit this. Really decent. Good, good stats for it. With the 38 defense is, is especially good. And 15 morale, always good as well. But now let's have a look at Ak Akarnian... Yes. <laughs> Akarnanian uh, Hoplites. If I can speak. And yes, these guys again. Let's have a look. Plenty of plumage. Lots of capes, plenty, yeah, fully, fully plumage, full plumage on show, and they look fantastic once again. Look at these boys. I love these um, colored faceplates. They look really cool, especially the black one. I like that. Looks really nice. 
Um, yeah, fantastic unit. Really good. Starting to come up towards the elite level of unit. 15 morale, guys. 13 melee attack for a Spearman unit. It's decent as well. And 40 defense. 17 defense against missiles, which is really, really good. Really good. Not going to die to missiles really quickly at all, unless you're facing like some of the most elite javelin units or sort of Roman units in the game. 40 defense is fantastic and 14 charge. So even more elite version of the Aetolian Hoplites, better than the uh, Elian Hoplites, the Akarnanian Hoplites. Very nice indeed. Right, nestled in the rocks, we have our pre-reform elite unit and just look down that line it's it's scary isn't it how brutal these guys look how good they look they've got the um thurios shield as well so not the circular shield the sort of thropperoi shield the longer shield and these guys look glorious look at them they look so good and again we've got purples and blues but a lot of yellow uh, flowing through this unit as well a lot of yellow in there for the Aetolian League. Very, very cool. Very cool unit. Look at these guys. They look so good. So, so, so good. And they're all uh, got the uh, Linothorax rather than the Bronze Breastplate as well, which is kind of cool. No mix in this unit. Uh, and yeah, 20 morale, 15 melee attack, and a total defense of 47. Yes, 47. 16 defense against missiles and a 31 defense skill, as well as a 17 charge, guys, which 17 charge is almost, you know, a lot of the time charges are slept on by infantry uh, when you talk about infantry because you're not going to be charging them in too much. Uh, in fact, very, very, uh, not very often, depending on the type of battle. But a 17 charge for a spear unit is obscene, guys. That's really, really good. So they're going to do some really good damage on the charge. And as a spear unit, that's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, 20 morale, guys. These are, are properly, properly elite units, guys. They are going to do good damage the whole way through the game. The whole way through. Not just early game. Going to do some really good damage. So as soon as you can get your hands on these, this is what I've been making up most of my army with. Very, very nice unit. Completely um, elite. Right, let's go to our reform unit. We have the Thorakitai over here. So, what you're pretty much looking at is a sort of expanded or better version of the Theroparoi. They've got their two Javis with 15 missile attack this time rather than 14. And, of course, they've got the same melee attack, but two extra morale and one extra defense. The extra defense comes in the form of the armor and the shield. So they've got better defense against missiles, 15 defense against missiles. And you can see they've got this chain mail on. Very nice indeed. A lot of silvers in this Thorakitai unit looking very shiny. Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. I absolutely love them. Really, really nice. But again, they're not quite elite. They are not quite up to your Epilectoi uh, standard. But they are a good fill-in unit, mid-tier unit. 35 defense, 12 melee, 15 missile attack. So they're going to do decent damage, especially um, against sort of uh, low armor units where those Javis will shred them before charging into the enemy. Very nice indeed. Cool. And they use swords. Your only infantry unit to use swords, guys. Your only infantry unit to use swords rather than spears. So, really cool. Right. Let's move on to our cavalry. Our cavalry. Yes. Very good. That's not the right one. Uh, here we are. On to the general's bodyguard. And once again, we've got the, uh, the horse plumage. Very nice. Standard. Greek General's Bodyguard here with 34 defense, 47 charge, your 18 morale, your 14 melee attack, and 15 armor, guys. Nice bit of breastplate going on here. Very cool indeed. And these helms, once again, looking fantastic. So, really good unit. Obviously, it's your General's Bodyguard. <laughs> um, so, and remember, they are very small units unless you've got a lot of retinue uh, and you're the faction leader or faction heir, for example. 
So use these guys sparingly and use them to charge, of course, rather than leaving them in extended melee. So we've also got the Aetolian Prodromoi, the boys we've seen a lot of. Uh, before and these are actually better than the standard prodromoy that total defense of 13 i believe is quite a bit better than normal is it not nine i think it's nine or ten normally so yeah a lot better than normal 13 morale as well is definitely better than normal because i think they have nine normally melee attack of 10 missile attack of nine uh with the seven javis to throw so a better prodromoy unit than we've seen a lot of before you stand it out, bro. You stand it out a little bit with your bright yellow. But yeah, I love the bright yellow. It looks really cool. And we've got a few of these boys over here with the whites and the blues as well. So a better Prodromoy unit than usual. As I say, I don't really like uh, Javi Cav. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't really like Javi Cav too much um, as a player myself. But everyone who does will be delighted with these boys because they're going to do a really, really good job. So, on to the Aetolian Cavalry, who also have Javis. 15 missile attack guys for these Javis, but they only have two. So, although, uh, you know, they don't throw as many as the Prodromoy, but that 15 missile attack, uh, attack is really, really good for a Javi missile cav. And these guys look mean, don't they? They look mean. They look ready to fight. They've also got 23 defense, not the highest amount of defense because of that lack of shield, but a charge of 30 with a melee attack of 13 and a morale of 16 is really, really good for a heavy cavalry unit. So they're going to do some really decent damage, smashing through the enemy, enemy lines after they've thrown those javis. These guys actually use a missile weapon before charging, which I've actually never seen that on a cavalry unit. Most of the time, the cavalry unit uh, is just a missile cav. These guys are actually set up like the infantry so that they will fire that javi before charging the enemy, which is cool as hell. Really nice unit. I really like this. It really plays into the unit roster of ambushes, um, of skirmish troops, of javelins, rather than up close and personal fighting. I really do like these guys quite a bit. Very nice indeed so on to our final unit guys on to the final countdown the aetolian aspido foroi so after reforms you do get shielded cavalry you get the aetolian aspido foroi with a total defense of 27 which as you can see is four better than the aetolian cavalry but they don't have those javis morale of 15 melee attack of 12 and a charge of 36 which is really nice. Really big charge. Huge charge of 36. Very cool indeed. A really, really smart looking unit as well. Look at these boys. Very cool. Uh, if I had to choose between these two, honestly, you know, I'd probably choose the Reform Aspido Foroi. Just because... The micro that you're going to have to do for these Javi boys might be quite a bit. But that would only be my reason. I think these guys are so good, though. They're going to be really good early game, these guys. That 15 um, Javi attack is fantastic. Really good. Right, guys. Without further ado, we have seen the roster. Uh, I've got a little challenge for you guys today. If you have enjoyed the video and you have enjoyed the roster, comment down below your favorite looking unit out of all the units that we've covered today that would be awesome and give us a subscribe obviously if you want to skip the battle you can do um you can do of course uh, but we are here at the end just for a bit of fun we always like to end our unit roster videos on a battle so here come the achaean league and look at these boys <laughs> this is a bit of a sneak preview for later just look how good these units look these guys especially, honestly. Fantastic. Oh, they look glorious. As soon as everyone gets fighting, they start to look absolutely glorious. Uh, but yeah, really, really like this roster. And the Achaean League are the league, uh, are the people we're going to cover next. So keep, uh, keep, keep tuned for that. 
Uh, should be good fun. Right, let's get all our... Oh, God, I'm going to stay behind for now because he's bringing his cavalry forward. Thought he could go for a little cheeky charge. Uh, but yeah, slingers. Is that our... That's our archers. Our slingers should be firing now. Our better slingers than... Uh, than most normal slingers. See how many people they kill by accident. No one so far. They're bringing all their cavalry around that side. Um, well then. <laughs> Let's get our two missile cavos there. Let's try and get into the Aspido Foro if we can. You can see uh, the Theroperoi firing away. Yes, Javis are coming in from the boys. Very nice. Make sure the uh, Thorakitai are on fire at will. And we'll take the defensive position. Okay, their Prodromoy's gone, I'm assuming. And there's this to 4-8. Quite quickly, they didn't like that. I'm assuming that's from massive Javi throws from both the Prodromoy and the Aetolian Cavalry. Very nice, very nice Cavalry units. They've got their own Aspido Foroi. But they've got some reformed Zista Foroi there as well, which we haven't seen before. Uh, what I'm going to do, let's get you guys back. Where's these boys? Get you there, there, there. These Peltasts, where are you? We're going to try and get you into the fight, bros, because we saw your stats. You're a brilliant hybrid unit. Let's have a look at the uh, Zista Foroi. Let's have a little bit of fun with them. Um... Let's get through. No, no, no. Just try and get through, bro. bro. Oh, you're on that. I didn't realize. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. Here come the Phalangites. This is the thing we're really worried about. We've got the Foreign Theroperoi here as well. Okay, this is this is it now. Let's go, boys. Let's... Yeah, the Aetolian Cavalry have fired all their javis now. We're going to keep stacking our cavalry, though. Let's get into the back of the Achaean Thorakitai. This is Aetolian Thorakitai versus the Achaean Thorakitai down the middle here. Look at this. Glorious fighting going on. Very nice indeed. Oof. We've just taken a bit of a battering. We've got the Argive Epilectoi, and they're not going to be able to stand up to Epilectoi at all. At all. So uh, let's try and get into the back of that foreign Theroperoi. I also want to get into the back of the Achaean Hoplites. I don't want to get squished by them, though. That's the only sort of worry I have here. Oof. Big charge. Big charge. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Smash them to pieces. Here the boys come. Here the boys come. Let's go. Now we've got our Theroperoi. They've taken a bit of a battering on that flank. This poor Peltast is going to be fighting the Epilectoid. But it's... Yeah, I was going to say, it's done, I thought it was 112 then. I was going to say it's done some damage, but yeah, no, it's killed two. Two people so far. Well done, boys. You'll get there in the end. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to stand our ground against these Peltaforoi so we can charge them in the back. Who are you? Greek archers. Let's, uh, while we're here, guys, let's just pause for a second and just make sure. Yeah, their Greek archers are the same. Do they have slingers? Oh, they've got their own Achaean slingers as well. Not just the standard Greek slingers. So they've actually got better slingers than normal as well. Cool. Break those boys. Get in the back there. And then we'll have a look. Who's winning over here? We're actually winning. I wonder whether it's because we... Yeah, it's because we managed to get our javis off. Both are steady, though. Let's have a look down the front line, shall we? The Achaean Epilectoi. Look at that formation that they have got themselves into. I wonder if we get... On guard mode, our guys are going to get into that really good formation as well. Because that looks a really fantastic defensive formation. We've also got the Achaean Hoplites fighting the late Theroperoi over here. And uh, we've got the Achaean Hoplites fighting the Aetolian Hoplites and the Elian Hoplites over here. So some of our more elite Hoplites in this region. Now let's get into the Argive Epilectoi. They're not in a they're kind of a loose formation now, so we should get a good charge off. You can see a few of our men dying on the charge, but some oof, brutal charge in the end. Cavalry stacking is so strong in this game, guys. <laughs> in case you don't know it already, it is so strong. You could beat the game just with cavalry very easily. I mean, in fact, I've yeah, we've we've done it. We did the Parthia campaign. That was vanilla, though. Um, I'm not sure about RAS, but yeah, vanilla cavalry stacking is just everything. We beat the game. What are these guys? 
Yeah, the Thorid Kittite. We beat the game as Parthia just using Horse Archers. We pretty much didn't use any other units. But Horse Archers are so OP. Most OP units in the game, guys. In, in case you didn't know, I'm sure everyone who's watching this does know. But yeah, in case you don't know, so OP. Wait. No, that's their men. I was going to say, why are our men running? They were not fighting. The Greek general is getting tired now. He's getting really tired. But we are battering their front lines. We are really, really doing some damage on those front lines of the enemy. Oh, and look, the Achaean Thorakitai have now are now wavering. So our ah, Peltas did a number on them. Well done, Peltas. Very good job. Now we've just got to, like, hold up. Okay, I think we go for the Epilectoi. They've actually beaten our Epilectoi. No, you were evenly matched, boys, and you lost. Wonder whether that's to do with anything to do with missiles or anything like that. Uh, we've got to go for that charge right in the back there. I know they're uh, they're phalangites, but we should be able to charge them in the back quite easily, and not worry about them turning. Yep, that's them broken straight away. We're in there. Let's have a look. Right now, straight into the back of these guys. These pretty elite-looking boyos. Here come the cavalry, though. Oh, no. Not not the charge we wanted or needed. They kind of just jogged in there. The guys at the back. Yeah, oh, okay. Fair enough. They did manage They did manage to get through. Now into the back of the Peltophorite. Uh, those Hoplites now fighting to the death. Yes, boys. Yes. Cavalry stacking as well as this battle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Right, into the back of these boys. Very cool. Oh, they, they're not actually fighting anymore, so we're not actually fight charging them in the back. Uh, that's going to be a bit harder to break them then. Oh, look at these boys. The Theroperoi. The final few Theroperoi coming down. Just how good do these units look in this, this mod, guys? Honestly, they look so good. Charge! It is just glorious. It is fantastically glorious. Cavalry getting in the action. How many did they have left then? They've got 20. And we've got rid of these guys as well. Um, oh, apparently there's yeah, a Zistaphore up here. Let's have a go see whether these guys are good in melee. Charge! Oh! <laughs> well, we won anyway. Like, half of them went flying into the air, but we won the rest of it. <laughs> oh, well, guys. Remember, please do comment down below your favorite-looking unit out of this roster. Uh, it is fantastic. Glorious roster once again. Oh, very nice. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. Please do like and subscribe, all that sort of thing. It really does help us out. And I will see you all again on the next video.